Carmi Giantini. I'm here with Robert Summers. We're looking at an Impressionist painting, The Floor Scrapers by Gustave Caipote. The Floor Scrapers is such a different depiction of manual labor than, say, Courbet's painting of the Stonebreakers. Courbet's Stonebreakers shows two men working outside breaking stones in the heat. And this is Corbet's homage to the working poor. But on the other hand, you have Caibot, who is painting three men inside this gorgeous room already, made more gorgeous by the lighting. What's interesting about this is that with Corbet's image of the stonebreakers, the men are anonymous. With these, you can see their face, and they're also half nude. They're inside. You'd expect the stonebreakers to be possibly half nude, but they're not. They're fully dressed, as opposed to these men who are half nude and in this kind of uh, kneeling position, scraping forward towards the artist, simultaneously eroticizing the male body through the lighting and the uh, highlighting of the muscles on the arms and backs which match the uh, curvilinear lines on the wrought iron just outside the window. And also the light that's illuminating reflects the gold around the room, giving it this kind of sensual feeling about it. So he's sensualizing the worker as opposed to what well, we could read Corbet as honoring or heroicizing the worker. But this does not become a model for a lot of subsequent male nudes. Do you think this was some kind of a, a troublesome image in some ways? During the 1800s, homosexuality was invented as an identity. Before then, it was just an act, committed an act of sodomy, and you could have been arrested. Through the scientific community, it became a verifiable identity category. And interestingly enough, within the visual arts, the male nude, roughly at the same time periods, begins to disappear almost completely in replace of the female nude. And I think that someone like Caibot, who's been questioned by many as being same-sex oriented, would paint such images. He didn't have to worry about selling his images because he came from a wealthy family. And so he could paint what he wanted to possibly a desire for these working class male bodies. But I think there are definitely class issues at play here because Calabot has painted these three men from a slightly superior position. He's looking down on them and they are so eroticized. During this time period, there was this self-fashioning of the self by many men with money or who pretended they have money, such as uh, Oscar Wilde or Marcel Proust, or the artists that we're talking about here. Many people who enacted this kind of lifestyle that many would call decadent, even in France during the time, um, wearing expensive suits, etc. And the flaneur and the dandy are kind of examples of this figure. What's interesting is that they were drawn to the working class male body, not the aristocratic body, but the body of the working poor that plays out here, I think, visually, where you have Caibot painting these men in this uh, scene of labor, but glorifying the body of the male. How come it didn't become a model for modernity? I don't think it was a model for the modern European world, which was and it remains to be heterosexually dominated, because any reference to the male as erotic is always already troublesome at best.